Well, as the Prime Minister defends himself, the spotlight is getting more intense, and the stakes are high. Diana Swain takes a look at that for us tonight. Diana. Peter, the question for the Prime Minister is how to balance his reputation as a man in charge with an emerging image of a man kept in the dark by some in his own staff and his own party. Everyone on Parliament Hill, even tourists lined up outside the House of Commons, wanted to hear from the Prime Minister on the scandal. I've been glued to the TV. Some answers. Uh, just how much did he know about the whole thing? And the Prime Minister has remained steadfast. He knew nothing of the scheme and acted swiftly when he did. I say exactly what I've said since May the 15th, that this is completely unacceptable, Mr. Speaker. Will the Prime Minister clear the air? The opposition insists Stephen Harper has been evasive, ducking responsibility for a scandal that happened on his watch. I think uh, there are an awful lot of things in this situation that the Prime Minister has not taken responsibility for. This is a job for the guy at the top. When a similar line of questioning emerged in a past controversy, Here's what then opposition leader Harper had to say about Paul Martin's response to questions on the sponsorship scandal. My difficulty with the Prime Minister at this point, Peter, is that I don't think he's been forthcoming and honest on uh, fairly simple questions when there appear to be contradictions. This issue isn't going away. David McLaughlin was chief of staff under Brian Mulroney. He says the Senate scandal is morphing into a focus on the Prime Minister's credibility, and there's only one way to fix that. I think the Prime Minister has to speak to Canadians about it. It's as simple as that. The danger is that in not accepting that publicly, uh, putting it all on other people, is that the public will say, well, wait a second, you're still the guy in charge. The Prime Minister took responsibility uh, when he heard about the payment. Uh, but Ken Bosencool, a former advisor to Prime uh, Minister Harper, says he's already done the responsible thing by dismissing Wright and trying to dismiss Duffy. So I think the actions that are, ta are being taken and have been taken are the appropriate actions. If the Prime Minister decides he wants to speak directly to the issue, the likely timing is his speech scheduled for Friday in front of the Conservative Party convention. And it's a good bet those lights in the Prime Minister's office will be burning late into the night, deciding what, if anything, he should say about the Senate scandal. Peter? Diana's in Ottawa tonight. Thanks, Diana.